Hello there, welcome. Thank you so much to all of you who have tuned in for the countdown. It's the final countdown. <laughs> Didn't plan that. Not sure that went so well. Anyway, yes, 100,000. Wow. Okay. Well, this has obviously been on the cards for a while now, and there's been so many comments coming through, and yeah, it's it's a big milestone, isn't it, for the channel? And hopefully many of you tuning in will derive a lot of personal satisfaction as well, because in many ways it's a community, isn't it? Um, I'm not saying that my channel is the only XJW channel, but it's nice to see evidence, clear evidence, <laughs> not of Jehovah's blessing necessarily, uh, but evidence that people care, you know, evidence that people are interested and a significant percentage of my subscribers, I happen to know from polls and what have you, have never been Jehovah's Witnesses. They just care about this issue. They just uh, are horrified at the fact that this is going on and they want to see this stuff being called out. And so, yeah, hopefully this is something where you can, what's the word? <laughs> you can um, you can share in it in some way. My words are failing me at the moment and I haven't even started drinking yet. I do have some bubbly on the on the desk and this has actually been on the desk ever since the 10 year anniversary live stream which was last month uh diana got me two bottles of bubbly one for the 100,000 one for the 10 year anniversary so th this has been sitting on my desk and i've been looking at it now for weeks and weeks while recording all of the rebuttals that you'll, you'll have seen popping up on the channel and yeah, once we pass 100,000, um, yeah, I'll try to open it without damaging anything or damaging me. So let's put that there for now. Um, let's put the countdown on, shall we? Can we do that? I think we can. There it is. Now, one thing I've noticed looking at this number <laughs> is that it goes up and down. So it has been, I think it's around, it was at, it did hit 980, 99,980 at one point, but it's since gone down. It goes up and down, up and down. Uh, and it might be that it doesn't pass 100,000 while I'm on air. <laughs> it might be that it doesn't pass 100,000 while I'm on air. It would be nice, but I have no way of knowing what's going to happen. It just uh, it, it it just seemed like the appropriate moment, being this close to the one hundred thousand milestone, to do a live stream and and see some of the comments. There you see going down again, um, but I am seeing the comments coming in on the live chat, and wow, such an outpouring of love and support. Thank you so much to Nicole Mort Parker for your incredibly generous super chat. That's really kind. And I think it's worth mentioning Nicole being one of my patrons. You know, there's a whole lot of patrons behind the scenes, hundreds of patrons who I feel are making it possible for to do the work that I'm doing on the scale I'm doing it. What's the current count? Um, 882 patrons currently and these are people who care about what I'm doing so much that they make it possible for me to buy the best equipment or good equipment to hire Tibor to hire a full-time video editor to travel when I need to travel um, to just cover this whole kind of <laughs> slow motion train wreck that is Jehovah's Witnesses um, on as, as a full-time job and with the intensity that I'm doing these uploads currently it's three uploads every two days typically it will be one upload every day but that's an intensity that is just unsustainable unless it's basically a company you know and so with Patreon we get to be a company and Deanna and I set up our 
operation as a company at the beginning of 2021, late 2020. We hired Tibor and hopefully you're seeing the results of that increase. Um, trying very hard not to use theocratic language. <laughs> Let me, uh, hopefully some of the super chats have been showing. Uh, I know producer Bob is in the background and will be keeping up with them. Just really lovely to see uh, that support. So thank you. Thank you to, uh, I know I've just noticed Katie, Katie's Stewart's comment there. Love your work. Keep it up. Katie's at the ACA. Nice to see um, some of my fellow ACA volunteers present today. Yeah, 100,000. Uh, and it's worth uh, kind of looking back a little bit because I can remember celebrating the 10,000 mark. And that was years ago. That was like a really, really long time ago. And you see other YouTubers who do who make completely different content holding aloft their 100,000 subscriber uh, plaques and you think well that's just that's never going to be for me you know <laughs> because I'm working in this tiny tiny little niche that only a small percentage of people must care about and it's just been amazing really particularly over the last few years to be completely honest I think what's really turned the tables has been the JW broadcasting era because when I first started the channel in 2012 there was no JW Broadcasting. We just had to talk about really what was in the literature. You'd get the occasional um, DVD release. So Become Jehovah's Friend was 2012, wasn't it? So there was the drip, drip, drip of video propaganda, but it was just a drip, drip, drip. There was nothing that you could really justify a channel to be devoted to covering. Oh, good grief! <laughs> I've just talked over it. It's happened. I just had... Wow. I just got a ping in WhatsApp and it was producer Bob saying you've, you've passed it. Oh, back down again slightly. Maybe we'll go back into... Maybe I'll get to watch it go over again. Yeah, we're going back down again now. So let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> let's just rewind the clock from 100,000. Wow. That's, how did it how did it jump that quickly? So probably what's happening is some of you amazing people, 516 currently across various platforms, probably some of you who are tuning in are like, hang on, I've not subscribed yet. <laughs> right, we're back at 100,000. Now, now we can, right, forget all of that happened. I'm just going to pretend that it's been at this figure, okay? And we can do it all over again. I should, yeah. Okay, we're going back down again now. <laughs> it's a roller coaster of emotions here on the Lloyd Evans channel. Well, I suppose I can open it, can't I? Because we did briefly, briefly. All right, there we are, 100,000. Brilliant. That didn't happen before. Now it's 100,000. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully some of you who are, are watching... And by the way, I don't expect everyone to be a subscriber. I understand that many people watch my videos who literally cannot subscribe because it would be incriminating for them. Because that's how controlling the Jehovah's Witness religion is. So that if their spouse or if a family member somehow went through their subscriptions, they'd be in a lot of trouble. So I think that's kind of the case for lots of people to be honest there we are going back down again <laughs> I think that's the case for lots of people um, and it's interesting that when you look at the unique visitors figure for the month um, it's around about goes up and down but it's around about 200,000 so there were there are lots of people tuning in oh good grief <laughs> there are lots of people tuning in my hand really hurts. <laughs> Who can't subscribe? That, I think, was the perfect... That's the first time I've ever done that. I didn't shake it at all. I just noticed it was moving and it's popped. And there's no spillage. Well, that's wonderful. I'm getting that again. <laughs> so, cheers to you all. 
that's wonderful. That's uh, that's a really special moment, to be honest, on a personal level. And I know I speak for everyone behind the scenes who collaborates with me, all of my colleagues, uh, fellow YouTubers, uh, fellow activists, patrons, uh, subscribers, viewers, ex Jehovah's Witnesses, PMOs, those undercover, those leaking information. I think this is a victory for all of us, isn't it, really? So, cheers. Cheers to you all. Right, we can, we can end it there, can't we? <laughs> we can end on a high. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> it's quite emotional. Um, shall we take a few of the comments? Um... Cammy says, well done, you're doing Jehovah's work, LOL, ha, ha, ha. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. I can't say I'm a massive fan of the guy, to be honest, but <laughs> if, this is, if this is his work, then fine. Um, don't drink all that, give me some. I'm not sure the technology exists for that yet. It's not yet available on the StreamYard. <laughs> platform to share drinks with with viewers um where are diana and tibor diana is upstairs uh our two-year-old is currently extremely clingy and uh not sleeping very well and can't be diana can't be can barely be away from her for any amount of time and she's literally just going through the whole going to bed thing so I think Diana would be here, but it, I know she's listening, but uh, it's a bit problematic. Uh, Tibor, maybe he's watching. I was uh, WhatsApping with him very briefly just a moment ago. But Tibor works remotely, so Tibor, I think, has been working today on an interview from home. So I'm all on my lonesome here in the bunker. Um... Here's to another percent decrease for the Watchtower. Who knows? Who knows? I, as I've commented already in the rebuttals, I think it's extremely telling that the figure they chose to lead with was their peak memorial attendance. If that's the one they're leading with, then that suggests to me that there is indeed another decrease on the way. But who knows? We shall see. Maybe they're just being extremely coy. <laughs> Sherry, who uh, appeared recently on the channel, congratulations, Lloyd, and to your entire team. What a special milestone. It's, yeah, it's not quite sinking in yet, to be honest. Maybe tomorrow when I wake up and I'm like, oh, I've got 100,000 subscribers. Maybe then it will start to sink in. But for now, the only thing that's sinking in is that champagne. And I may end up making a spectacle of myself. Who knows? The Shund Experience, thank you. Nice to see you, Jordan. Amazing work, Lloyd. Oh, gosh, there's lots of comments coming in now. Um, Nesbo says, do you get a plaque? Well, I damn well hope so. <laughs> I want my award. I don't know whether anyone's seen, my, seen the Father Ted episode where... Um, Father Ted wins an award and he goes home and and Father Jack, the elder elder statesman of the family who's always drunk, in, insists on receiving an award as well. And he just goes, award, award, award. And they just have to give him some ornament and pretend and shake his hand and pretend he's receiving an award. Uh, that's basically me at this point. <laughs> but um, I should be receiving one. Obviously, when I do receive it, it will be documented. And I've already mentioned, some of you may remember me mentioning my plans for the plaque. Because without wanting to put too much of a dampener on this very happy occasion, I do have beef with YouTube, quite frankly. I've got beef with them. It hasn't been plain sailing for the nine years that I've been doing this next year being 10 years um they've made it difficult they've i'm not <laughs> i'm not pulling my punches here youtube has made it difficult for me to get here so case in point 
my most watched video ever, one and a half million views for everything you need to know about Jehovah's Witnesses, demonetize, sorry, restricted monetization. Um, and interestingly, if I uploaded that video now, it would be fully monetized. It's just that YouTube went through a really stupid phase where almost you couldn't say anything without there being something wrong. And they demonetized it then without telling me. So I only found out, like, was it months later or maybe even a year or so later? Uh, and, I, and I requested a manual review and the manual review confirmed that it wasn't suitable. Seriously, viewers, watch the video. It's as vanilla as you could possibly imagine. <laughs> it's like BBC level vanilla. And they and they won't let me take any significant uh, or any real ad revenue. It's just a very tiny percentage that you get through. Uh, so that's made things difficult. Uh, and my first ever YouTube documentary... Jehovah's Witnesses and Child Abuse, is there a problem? They removed it from the search results. With nearly, with all of my videos that I'm aware of, you can type in Lloyd Evans and the title and it will appear. With this one, try doing that. It's not going to appear. So, and that's like a really, really important video. Obviously, I watch it now and look at the production values and think, oh, I'd do this very differently. And, oh, no, did I really have to use that camera and blah, blah, blah. But it was important. It was an important video on an important subject. And they made it hard for people to watch it. So I have beef with with YouTube. It, it feels like I've, yes, I've got here, but I've got here with the journey being made harder than if I'd been doing an unboxing channel or a makeup tutorial channel or a hey, look at my cat channel or here's me playing Minecraft channel. They just make it harder for you if you're dealing with real subjects that really matter. So my idea... Oh, there's Deanna. Super proud of you, Lloyd, for doing this with right motives driving you to persist. Thank you very much. Thank you, Deanna. We had a little hug before. And I, I noticed in the corner of my eye um, that so many Super Chats coming through. There was a £200 one. That's astonishing. And I, I do want to say, yeah, there it is. Thank you very much, Rantech. And thank you to everyone that's sending in Super Chats. It's very much appreciated. And I, I want to say something about money a little bit later. But going back to the plaque. So we're now on 100,014. 100, that's lovely. Um, going back to the plaque, my idea is that, yes, I will receive it. Yes, I will accept it. It's an award, sort of. Um, on condition that I modify it. So I am going to make a video with Tibor, like a little documentary style, sort of vlogging style video where we go and modify it and just document the fact that, yes, we've done it. Yes, we've we've reached this milestone, but it was made harder for us. And this needs to be kind of etched in to the plaque because who knows, maybe it could end up being a historical item, you know, so. Thank you, YouTube. Accepted, but we have a few things to say, or I have a few things to say. Um, on the subject of of money, um, and I, I mentioned this to the patrons the other day because we do an all-patron Zoom call every three months. And one of the things I said, uh, it's a great opportunity to hear people's stories and for people to connect with each other and obviously like with subscribers not everyone can be a patron i realize that um i never ever expect people to be patrons it really is and that goes as well for patrons who can no longer pledge um i'm only ever grateful for what people can give when they give it not for what they will or 
will give in the future or could give in the future or what have you. No, it's only ever what they have given that I'm really, really grateful for because it helps the channel grow. Um, but I just wanted to kind of be upfront and, and frank about the whole money side because I've alluded earlier to be to us having a company now so that we can hire Tibor. And I just wanted to kind of mention that or make the observation that, you know, there are many YouTubers with channels much, much bigger than mine with multiple hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And you'll notice that um, their content is a lot more, how can I put it, infrequent. So it's maybe two or three videos a month or maybe even only one video per month or maybe multiple months between videos, which is fine, by the way. But on the money side of things, and I, I realize no one's here to call my motives into question, but you do hear it from time to time. Oh, he's just criticizing Jehovah's Witnesses to make some money, you know. Believe me, I could make a lot less videos and do a lot less work, and it wouldn't make a huge impact in terms of... Because when you have patrons, they believe in you. They're not demanding a certain amount of videos per month. Or at least I think that's the case. I think the ones who the, the patrons who are some supporting me, no one has ever said, I'm supporting you, Lloyd, on the basis that you make this many videos per month. No one's ever said that. I decide how many videos go out. And at the moment, as I said before, it's like three videos every two days, which is a lot. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's... it's really hard work and some of the rebuttals i i record them when there's not much gas in the tank you know there's not much um energy or i'm i'm kind of exhausted already from the rebuttals i've only recently filmed but as i said on the call yesterday i think what motivates me it's definitely not the money Again, I think a, a, there wouldn't be a, a massive drop if I did half the number of uploads in terms of pledges and even ad revenue. Ad revenue doesn't change that much. Um, what motivates me is I don't want to let those scoundrels in Brooklyn publish a video or make an argument in a video that goes unanswered. I'm kind of institutionalized almost by this craving to make sure that their bs gets called out at every turn i and i realize that i can't cover everything but if i can at least cover the jw broadcasting episodes the conventions the annual meetings maybe the gilliards and recently I've started covering the GB updates. Obviously, there's more material than that. There's regular morning worships going up. Someone said to me the other day, are you going to do a rebuttal to the circuit assembly? <laughs> and the answer to that is, well, if I could clone myself, <laughs> maybe. There's some stuff that I just can't answer, but I think the main stuff, the 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 stuff that Jehovah's Witnesses are most likely to see, such as the conventions, such as the JW Broadcasting, etc., it actually pains me, the, the very thought of, of there not being an answer to that. And I realise, again, I'm not the only channel. There's lots of channels, you know, covering this material. And people make videos about those things, which is brilliant. And I don't want to be the only voice. I really, really do not. I welcome as many people as possible doing this. Um, it's just that for me personally, I feel as though this stuff needs to be called out. And and the thought of kind of cranking, of reducing speed, lowering the throttle and just going into cruise speed so that Oh, every other JW Broadcasting or every other convention or maybe not the convention this year. Uh, maybe I'll reach a point where I have said everything I need to say or where for whatever reason I need to step away. 
But while I have the means to do this, while I have hundreds of patrons supporting me, while I have a, an amazing team around me of activists and volunteers and, and colleagues, um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's bloody well do it and, and call these people to account. So I can't believe that it just leapt, didn't it? It got on when it was like 20 to go, and now we're already 20 past the mark, or nearly 20 past the mark. And again, it's going to pogo up and down, isn't it? But I think we're firmly past 100,000 now, which is wonderful. Um, let's just uh, take some of these comments. Um, Annika says... OMG, I hope people realize how much work goes into your work, research, editing, content, etc. Well done. Well done must be a 50-hour week on top of being a husband and father. Yeah. I, th I mean, I don't time myself. But um, he said pouring a drink. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty intense. And I think as well, particularly at the moment, we're we're at a point where we we not we've not long since ended the convention season and i can remember going to do the paradise cameo video with uh, tibor and what you don't see on the behind the scenes video is that once we've done our filming uh, we went for lunch and we we finished off what was left the tiny bit of whiskey that was in the bottom of the macallan's bottle that you see in that cameo uh, we finished that off in celebration of the fact that we just finished uh, the Powerful by Faith convention set of rebuttals. That was the last bit of filming for it. And we're thinking, great, you know, don't need to do anything now really until um, the annual meeting. And that's not due to be released by the organization until January. So, yay, <laughs> we've got a few months off. Or not a few months off, but a few months of just doing one upload per day. Brilliant. You know, we can just throttle back a little bit. Um, and then, of course, along comes October 2nd, 2021, the annual meeting. And because Watchtower is completely incompetent and can't keep anything secret because there are so many inside the organisation, including the upper echelons, who are disloyal to the governing body, of course, the stream link got leaked. And we were able to pull a recording off that. And now I'm waist deep in filming the rebuttals to the annual meeting. Parts one and two already out. I'm just at the moment nearing the end of part three. Here are my here are my notes. Um don't know whether you can see. There's the notes and there's the transcript, which I go through and highlight all the things that I find relevant to talk about it's a lot of work and sometimes I only sometimes I figure out what my arguments are going to be and what um what direction of research I want to be doing when I'm reading the transcript or watching it uh so, sometimes it's literally when I'm in front of the camera that I'm like hang on a minute uh what about this and yeah, it can really be a consuming thing. It's like you go down the rabbit hole with every rebuttal that you make and sometimes discover new things for yourself, you know. If I sound like something's like new in a rebuttal, it's probably because I, it really is new to me. I've literally just researched it for that rebuttal. So it is a very consuming thing. And uh, I can't promise you that everything is perfectly balanced at the moment in terms of work-life balance and what have you. But I am looking forward to uh, the new year, to January, because the way I pitched it to Tibor, <laughs> who was like still traumatised from the convention season when the annual meeting drops, the way I pitched it was, well, we're doing this work now so that in January we don't have to do the annual meeting, you know. So hopefully in January we can hopefully finally throttle back a little bit uh let's just keep an eye on some of these comments and uh, thank you so much to again many super chats coming through your channel and others like it saved me keep going thank you maria yeah the comments like that um 
really, really motivate me, to be honest, because it's when you're in the bunker and you're producing content, you're not seeing the people that it's affecting, you know? I'm just focused purely on, oh, David Splane just said this really stupid thing. How can I show how stupid it is? And you're not uh, seeing what impact it's having on people to demonstrate that that thing is stupid. So, so many comments. I don't know where to begin, actually. Um, thank you to Cody. Congratulations, Lloyd. You have helped me and my family in the very hard process of waking up. Your work is so important, and I'm happy to support you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cody. That's lovely. Um, and Dave Rum 777 Dear Lloyd, congratulations for 100,000 subscribers. Thanks for your great work. It still hasn't really sunk in. Is it really 100,000? I thought it was 99. Oh, it is 100,000. It's on the screen. <laughs> So that's that's amazing. It's going to take a while, I think, to uh, for it to all sink in. Glad to have subscribed. Keep up the good work, Lloyd, says Reese. Thank you, Reese. Janine, I see so many Jehovah's Witnesses getting drunk at weddings and other functions. It is ridiculous how they try to get around drunkenness. I'm not in a strong position to agree with you there. <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, try not to slur. I don't want. I don't want this to descend into a Tony Morris competition. Um, Desiree Antoinette says a huge thank you to your family as well. I'm sure it will be much harder for you if you didn't have their support. Oh, definitely. Um, the thing you have to remember is that you know I'm a father of two children. And with that comes responsibilities, you know, when you're a father, as many of you will, I'm sure, realise. And, you know, Diana is is there to help pick up the slack, if, if I can put it that way. And uh, she does incredible work behind the scenes to support me. And she's very understanding and patient, even gets behind the camera every now and then. Many of you will have seen... Diana's appearance in the Apologetics series. I think round two is due to drop on the channel shortly. It's hard to keep up with what, you, what you've all seen and what you haven't seen. Because <laughs> I have my upload schedule and I obviously watch stuff before it comes out and film stuff before it comes out. But there's so many uploads now, it's really hard to keep up with what you have or haven't seen, viewers. Sorry about that. Um... Amanda says, celebrate by prank calling Tony while being drunk. <laughs> There's a new one. Just give him a big loud, woo, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'd get more of a conversation out of him. Maybe he would engage more with that kind of level of dialogue. Because, uh, yeah, he, he didn't hang around very long the last time I prank called him. And I realize as well, lots of you will be watching thinking what do you mean prank call yes it's an easter egg in some of the earlier videos for those of you who, who can be bothered to go back to see me doing things with a really rubbish camera and in very basic very basic production values we've all got to start somewhere haven't we and it was in in that era of the of the channel that i managed to successfully prank call Anthony Morris himself. So you could say we're on talking terms or have been for years. <laughs> and I'm his number one troll. But I also like to think I'm David Splane's number one troll and maybe even Stephen Letts. Um, Netsy Natsy says, I've been pit since... Is that like maybe a typo? Uh, since 2010, but... Oh, maybe it's Pima or something. Anyway... Uh, but mentally, I was never free till two months ago when I found your YouTube. Thank you for all the hard work you do. Well, that's an absolute pleasure. And um, I say it all the time, and I'm sorry if I'm sounding like a broken record, but it really is down to individual, I think, courage and bravery when it comes to challenging cherished beliefs. Because I can make all the videos in the world. I can make hundreds of videos 
have many years worth of footage in terms of runtime <laughs> here on the channel debunking de debunking all sorts of uh, bad arguments but if if the audience doesn't have isn't yet at the place where they can challenge their beliefs where they can bring themselves to be confronted by information that debunks cherished beliefs then it, it's may as well not exist you know and so eight and a half million Jehovah's Witnesses right now aren't at that place. So my channel may as well not exist to many of them. And I realize when we say eight and a half million, the eight and a half million incl includes PMOs physically and mentally out, some of whom are calling in and leaving voicemails, even elders, <laughs> even PMO elders ringing in with voicemails. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't say eight and a half million, but you get my point. There are millions of Jehovah's Witnesses who can't bring themselves to even watch a few seconds of the channel. So for them, it might as well not exist. So really, the the kudos and the applause goes to you, Netsy, and to all like you who summoned the courage, whether as a Jehovah's Witness or as a disfellowshipped uh, Jehovah's Witness doesn't matter you can still be under the thrall of the indoctrination you can still be going from one day to the next fearing an impending apocalypse so that's the attitude I genuinely have when it comes to those who thank me I'm thrilled that I could um, participate that I could contribute in some way through my content but ultimately the content would be worthless if not for you having the bravery to take that step. Giving yourself permission. I like that phrase. Giving yourself permission to do research. Um, Daniel says, Hi Lloyd, I've been listening to you a lot and for myself I'm not in the witness, but my wife and the way she is doctrinating my kids is very frustrating, but I just don't want to create any misunders. I think, uh, yeah, I think I understand what you mean. It's difficult, isn't it, when you're in a family situation, um, especially with kids involved, but just hang in there. I think ultimately it's not a kid-friendly religion, is it? It's not <clears throat> a religion that kids intuitively dig, you know. Oh, yeah, please, I'd like to go and sit in a windowless building twice a week for over an hour each time and listen to adults drone out drone on about things that I don't really understand um and then there's the birthdays the Christmas etc I don't think it's a a religion that lends itself well to what kids need and want to be honest so you kind of have that on your side and I think if you can at least show that you are um not you're not living up to the stereotype of what an apostate is supposed to be and actually life is meaningful on the other side i think if you can just show by example that you're having a happy satisfying life outside of their bubble um that's all you can do isn't it and let them reach their own conclusions when they're old enough slipping into voicemail territory now <laughs> um Thank you, uh, Amanda. Yes, <laughs> the subscribe button is very much being worked, shall we say, uh, because, because we're now at 100,032. I was like watching, I've been watching the number throughout the day and and yeah, it was on like, it was like 25 to go or something and I was thinking, oh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's 50-50 whether we'll even make it over 100,000, but I'll do a live stream anyway. So the the fact that it's just jumped up like this is just amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And one thing I've been careful not to do is to try to artificially inflate the numbers. So I'm not really interested in canvassing, in going around canvassing for subscribers, because all I'm doing is... Uh, trying to coerce people into doing something that they probably haven't wanted to do for whatever reason. And then, then all you do is you see a spike and it goes back to where it was before. And I also appreciate the fact 
that so many of you watching this literally cannot subscribe because it would get you in trouble. So I'm happy, I'm content to just let the number do what it's doing without my <laughs> intervention other than, um, you know, putting out content and obviously doing this live stream. So the fact that you've all responded like this is really, really, um, I try not to use the word sobering. That's a Tony Morris word. Could do with sobering right now, to be honest. It's very uh, heartwarming to see the response, definitely. I, I'm missing so many comments. Um, thank you so much, Alex, for your super chat. Thank you for helping free myself and all seven members of my family. Wow. The chain is broken. Forever grateful to you and your family. That's a really lovely comment. Thank you. And I think it's worth stressing that this is a an achievement for I try to see this as not so much an achievement for myself it's an achievement for the movement because when I first started doing this there were obviously um, ex Jehovah's Witness YouTube channels but we were all tiny we were all tiny we were all um I'm not going to give numbers because I don't want to offend people who are at those numbers now because we all have to start somewhere. But there just wasn't the same platform. There wasn't the same audience, I don't think, for this sort of content. And here we are uh, nine years later from when I started and there's so much more of an audience now. And I feel as though hopefully by busting through this almost glass ceiling of 100,000, it's letting all of my colleagues know we can do this. You know, there is an audience there. So I view this very much as an achievement for all of us, to be honest. And I also think when you when you talk about seven members of my family, um, one of the really big motivations, because I was talking about motivations before um, and about how I can't, cannot stand the thought of them making a claim or an argument and it going unanswered. Another huge motivation for me is the next generation, is protecting and saving and sparing the next generation from this nonsense. Because how beautiful it is or would be to create content or say something or do something that's going to have an impact such that someone who would otherwise be raised as a Jehovah's Witness is not raised as a Jehovah's Witness, so that they grow up without this cult even being a consideration, even being a blip on the radar, and they don't know that you're responsible. That, for me, is one of the most beautiful things about activism, is that you can help people, potentially, and whether because they're so young when their parents get out of the cult or whatever, whatever, however the situation has engineered itself so that they're not raised as a Jehovah's Witness, I, I think it's a really beautiful thing that people, that the next generation, that children could grow up free from this cult and not even know what or who was responsible. I think that's amazing. And that's something that, has only happened, I think, fairly recently. I mean, you could argue that you could have that effect, you could generate that effect through books like Crisis of Conscience. But YouTube, I think, has just brought things onto a whole other level. And it's happened in plenty of time. You could say it was Jehovah's Hand. <laughs> It's happened in plenty of time for uh, a YouTube ex-Jehovah's Witness communi community to spring up so that when the organization finally became besotted with video production, became infatuated with the idea of showing the emperor with no clothes, with <laughs> showing their leaders embarrassing themselves, by that time, there was already a well-established ex-Jehovah's Witness community waiting for them on YouTube. Oh, great. You're producing this avalanche 
of horrendous video propaganda, you're giving us fodder, thank you. You're giving us something to talk about in video form. Because it's one thing to be reading quotes from the literature and discussing hypothetically what the governing body might think or say, but to actually show them saying it in a video, nothing beats that. And when I first started the channel back in 2012, some of my very first uploads actually aren't on the channel anymore. I had to I had to take them down, pull them, and put them on a smaller channel, um, which is actually JW Survey. And I don't have access to that channel, unfortunately, so I can't do anything with it. It's just, just there. But the JW Survey channel has got a series of videos um, called Getting to Know, the Getting to Know videos. I made like 14 Getting to Know Tony Morris videos. I made, uh, for as many governing body members as I could find talk recordings for, I made these little tiny videos. It was before I was able to talk because I was still undercover, so I didn't have my voice. It was literally just showing the clip and making some comments at the end, like in text form. It was really, really basic. It was a very, very basic forerunner of the rebuttals. And it wasn't based on video content. It was based on MP3 files I'd managed to claw together through scouring the internet. And I was listening to these MP3 talks. You'd have to go through like a whole list of speakers, some of whom are long dead, but in there somewhere would be, oh, David Splain, he's a current governing body member. Oh, Stephen M. Lett, or M. Stephen Lett, he's a current governing body member. And I'd listen to those talks. The ones I always found the most entertaining were Tony Morris talks. And bear in mind, I hadn't, at this point, I hadn't long woken up. So I was doing this exercise in sort of 2012, having only woken up in 2010 and listening to the stupidity that these men were coming out with was only reinforcing the decision that I'd made or was making to part ways with the with the organization and I was thinking people need to hear this people need to hear how crazy and detached from reality speakers like Tony Morris are and the only way they can do that at the moment is with these MP3 files, which no one seems to be talking about. I'll talk about them on my channel. <laughs> then in 2014, along comes Stephen Lett with the inaugural JW Broadcasting episode. We warmly welcome you, dear brothers. Thank you. Thank you, governing body, for doing this. Thank you for making my work easy, easier for myself. Thank you for taking a double barrel shotgun and aiming it at your feet and pulling the trigger. You're going to realise, surely within a few months or years, that this is a terrible mistake. But at least while you're doing it, I can have, I can show people what you're saying. And people, people will be able to see what clowns and buffoons you are. And here we are, nine years, sorry, 2014, nine years since I started the channel seven years since they started JW Broadcasting, here we are, they're still at it. The, the, the penny hasn't dropped, it seems, that this is detrimental to them because people can see how silly they are. They're, they're just, they have their own little sphere of delusion where in their minds, I think in his mind, David Splain is like, a super scholar, you know, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> move aside, Bart Ehrman, move aside, Richard Carrier, I'm David Splain, and I, I'm here to explain things, it'll be fun, <laughs> you may applaud, <laughs> I think in his mind, he is like an intellectual titan, he's like a Goliath of the intellectual world in his mind, and it's brilliant, isn't it? Because he gets up on the platform and uh, and embarrasses himself with how little he knows. And uh, it's brilliant. Thank you. Please continue doing it. Don't let anything I say stop you. Um, 
Splain and Sanderson scholars both, lol, says Motorway 2. Roswell, yes. Splain, I think, fancies himself as a little bit of a historian <laughs> when it comes to different Bible translations. And he makes a comment to that end, which didn't make the cut in my rebuttals, but he made a comment in the annual meeting as if to say, oh, yes, I went to an auction where... Mm, <laughs> yeah... I went to an auction where that this particular Bible translation was for sale and I didn't have $200,000 or whatever it was. You should ask Stephen Lett. He's got $250,000 for investment property. You just need to use your contact book, Mark Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have however much money it was to buy this particular Bible translation. So, to which I'm thinking, is it really a worthwhile use of your time? to be going to auctions where Bible translations are being sold for money. Is that a valuable use of your time? Should you not be out preaching, maybe? Or doing disaster aid work or doing a variety of other things that would supposedly be contributing to the, the kingdom rather than going to auctions. But he, he dropped it in. Again, it didn't make the cut, but he dropped it in and uh, seemed very impressed with himself for saying that and got some laughs from the audience, of course. Um, congratulations, Lloyd. What an achievement. Thank you very much, Frank. It's very kind of you. Um, currently on... Oh, we, we briefly... It briefly said 607 view, viewers. That would have been nice. <laughs> 607 viewers across various different platforms were currently streaming, I think, or should be on Facebook, Twitter, as well as YouTube. So that's a combined figure. Um, KWS says, tight pants, Tony, riding on Seabiscuit with Kenny Rogers at his side, getting ready to see some people split open like hot dogs. How did I ever take this cult seriously? Well, that, that hot dog thing, that came from the Getting to Know You series. So usually when I play that quote, I think I've played it two or three times now on the channel, and you see this black screen with the white text, that's the Getting to Know video, and I just bring in the recording from that. Because it's, you know, I've already, I've, I've already done the editing, I may as well use it. Um... Yeah, that human hot dogs quote, I mean, it's not like I discovered it. It was on the internet. But I think when most people think of it, that's certainly probably where they first encountered it. Or maybe they encountered it somewhere else. I don't know. I don't like taking credit for things that I shouldn't take credit for. But that's where that comes from, basically. Uh, <laughs> Telly Award, LOL. I do have a Telly Award somewhere. Where is it? Is it in the other half of the bunker? I thought it was within reach. Oh, it is in reach. Yes, so <laughs> on my desk, I have a Telly Award and it says 2015 Telly Award, Lloyd Evans, JW Survey, now JW Watch, Jehovah's Witnesses and Child Abuse. And this is actually a gift from Mark O'Donnell. He gave it to me, I think, back in 2015. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> there's a bit of a story there. Basically, um, on JW.org, they posted a, an article where they were praising themselves for having received telly awards. And Mark, bless him, did some digging and found out that these are essentially fake awards. They're like, <laughs> they're basically bought awards. If you... Um, if you quote unquote nominate something for a telly award, you're always at bare minimum going to receive this, which is, it may look gold, but it's actually supposed to be a bronze award. So this, <laughs> you can just literally make anything and quote unquote nominate it by paying, I think, what, $300 or something. They're not cheap. Um, thank, by the way, thank you, Mark, for this. <laughs> Very, very generous and still a feature of the bunker. Um, yeah, you pay some money, you quote-unquote nominate something and you receive an award. And after Mark ran that article on, 
on JW Survey, now JW Watch, they pulled their article. They were they'd been found out. They'd been rumbled, and you now no longer hear them talking about Telly Awards. Rightly so. Uh, I'm aware that we're coming up on the hour mark, and I think I think I'm going to start wrapping up. But I'm so glad that I was able. Albeit when we clicked over to 100,000, I was busy talking and didn't notice. So that producer Bob had to WhatsApp me. Oh, look at the number. <laughs> That's quite embarrassing. But at least at least we marked the occasion, didn't we? I feel like we marked the occasion. We've opened some bubbly. And onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards to 144,000. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. What's the next thing that we celebrate? I don't want to celebrate every little, you know, 10,000 or whatever. Uh, I think 144,000. JW Imposter is saying, what? No viewer invasion. I would do a viewer invasion. I'm just a bit exhausted. It's been a really long week. And bear in mind, I'm kind of gearing up for a long trip. So I'm going to be in Texas later this week for the Faithless Forum. So I'm frantically trying to get my affairs in order and do all of fill in all of the paperwork that you need to fill in in the COVID era, and uh, yeah, so I'm doing that and filming, trying to get the content filmed for while I'm in Texas. Um, Amanda says I thought the fact that Lloyd missed it was hilarious. I'm glad it was entertaining at least. That's the whole purpose, isn't it, to entertain. Um, I think I'm going to start wrapping up. Can't wait for Watchtower to say that. You never know. I mean, surely the penny will drop at some point, at least with the propaganda, at least with the video propaganda. Hang on a minute. This isn't working. <laughs> I think it, it literally is a case of them being so besotted with their own visage. And, you know, they're kind of intoxicated with seeing themselves on camera and feeling like they're on TV, even though they're not. I, I think that their own um, egotism and narcissism is going to gonna make them stay at it. I can see this going on for years, at least in terms of their propaganda. Will How long will the organisation last, which I think is more what Nesbo was talking about. Um, goodness knows, to be completely honest... Um, they've lasted longer than I once gave them credit for. I can remember writing articles for JW Survey, now JW Watch, <laughs> where I, I said, you know, are we about to see Watchtower implode? It, it felt very imminent. I can, especially around the time when they were sending home Bethelites and special pioneers. That particular period which was i think was it 2015 thereabouts that felt like it was very imminent it's like oh wow things are really things have really taken a turn for the worse here if they're literally sending home bethelites and it, it was all following hot, hot on the heels from stealth tithing and what have you it just felt like things were coming together and here we are in 2021 they're still going you know they uh yeah, they're still at it. So, goodness knows. I'm not going to make any predictions anymore. They, they're they like some kind of zombie. You, you, can't, you can't shoot the damn thing. You've got to keep whacking it with a cricket bat, which is what I'll try to do metaphorically on the Lloyd Evans channel with the love and support of you all. Again, thank you so much to all of you who've tuned in. A sincere and heartfelt thanks to all of you who've sent in Super Chats. In fact, let me just double check. Let me reel off some names. Hilary Wallace, Jefferson De La Cruz, Samuel Bozek, Stop Scamming Man, Old Greg, Poppy, Sarah Lee, Alex R, Like a Fox, Amanda, uh, Shaylis Darkley, Greg Turner, Amber McAllister, Dave Rim 777, Maria Brown, Joanna Alabaster, Jenny McCann, Dizzy, D'Antoinette Taylor, Jill Webster, Lisa for the Truth, Mulder Scully, love the X-Files, <laughs> blast from the past that, 
Stew E17, Brins Only, Rand Tech, Nicholson Lawrence, Mendoza, Lauter Maximilian, Tina M, Master Thesis, The Lone Wolf, Hal Prentice, Lisa Burberry, Australian Wolf, Junior Domingo, Sarah Lee, and Nicole Mort Parker. I think that's all of them. Thank you so much for sending in those super chats. All a tremendous help for the channel. And above all, thank you to the over 500, at one point 600 of you who were here for the moment that the Lloyd Evans channel became a 100,000 plus subscriber channel. It's still sinking in, still doesn't quite feel real, but here we are. It's a brave new world. There'll be more videos, more live streams to follow. You can be sure of it. And yeah, please take care, everyone. And thank you so much for watching.